This question belongs to operating system subject and was asked in grade CSE 2023. So the question states, consider the following two dimensional array D in the programming language, which is stored in row major order. Okay. So we have an array of size 128 cross 128. So what is the meaning of 128? Indexing is from 0, 1, 2 up to 127. And then in another x also it is from 0, 1, 2 up to 127. So we have this two dimensional array of size 128 cross 128 and the size of name of the array is D. Demand paging is used. First of all, let us see what is the meaning of row major order. Row major order means elements will be stored like this. If we have an item A over here, B, C, D, E, F, which means then first A will be stored, then the second item, then third item, first row, then second row, then third row, then fourth row. Row major order means first row followed by second row, followed by third row, followed by fourth row and time. Okay. Demand paging is used. What is the meaning of demand paging? Demand paging means initially empty main memory, which means initially no pages there in the main memory. It's used for allocating memory and each physical page frame holds 5 and 12 elements. Okay. So we have a page and it can have only 5 and 2 elements of the array D. So what is the meaning of 5 and 2 elements? So 5 and 2 elements means we can say either 4 row as it is stored in row major order. So it, it can easily store these 4 rows. What are the number of elements will be there? 0 to 127, 128 elements into 4 rows which is 5 and 2 elements which means it can store 4 rows. One page equals to 4 rows. One page has 4 rows of D. Okay. The LRU page replacement policy is used by the operating system. So we are using LRU. LRU means least recently used. Which means the page that has referred in the past will be replaced. The, the one which has been least recently used. A total of 30 physical page frames are allotted to a process. So we have page 1, page 2, page 3 up till page 2, page 3, we are up till page 30. Okay. Which executes the following code snippet. Okay. So we have a physical page frames, only 30 frames are allotted to the process and initially all of them are empty. Initially all the 30 frames are empty like this as we are using demand paging. Initially all the frames are empty and one page can store 4 rows. Okay. Now let us see. So what happens? When we run this code, for int i equals to 0, i is less than 128, i plus plus. For int j equals to 0, j is less than 128, j plus plus. dji equals to dji into 10. See, this is, here it is stored in row major order, but the access is in column major order. How do I know it? Know this? For i equals to 0, for j equals to 0. So initially i will be 0 and j will span from 0, which means if we have, let me write it like this. If we have an i, we have an j. So initially, what will happen is that, let me write away i and j. Initially, i will be 0, okay, and j will span from 0 to 128, which means 0, 1, 2, 3, up till 127, and i will be 0 in all the places. Then i will become 1, j from 0 to 127, i will be 1, then in the same way, I will reach till 127 and J will go from 0 to 127. Okay, so this will be the mapping. So it is basically column major mapping. Why? Here this index is 0, 0, this is 0, 1, this is 0, 2, this is 0, 3, this is 0, 127, this is 1, 0, this is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 127. This is 2, 0. This is 3, 0. This is 4, 0. This is 5, 0. This is 6, 0. This is 7, 0. Up till 127, 0. C. Now what happens? Initially, i is 0 and j is 0. So we are accessing what item we are accessing? Dji. Dji means 0, 0 we are accessing. Okay. So for 0, 0, it will have 5 and 2 elements. So one page, 
having five and two elements, which means all these four rows will be brought to our this physical frame. Here we will have all the four rows from R1 to R4. We will have all the four rows. Okay. Let us see what is the next item. Next J will become one, and we will access D10. Then we will access D10, which means this item. Then J will become two. We will access D20. Then D three zero. All these items will be present in the physical in the frame. This frame will have all these four rows. So the, all these four items will be there. So for these four items, for for these four rows, we have one page miss and four three hits. Okay. Now what happens? Then we will try to access two zero three zero. All these are hits. This is a miss. Then we will access D four zero, D four zero. But see, D four zero is not present. So we will bring this page. So we will bring the page which will have from R four, R zero, R one to R four. Then we will have, let us see, R zero to R three. Then we will have R four to R seven. Okay. So four zero will be a miss, but five zero, six zero, seven zero will be hits. We will have. One miss and three hits. So if we continue it like this, which means for four items there will be one miss initially. So it will continue like this. And how many pages do we have? So we will go in till uh, like 120 till 120 we will go, and we will have 120 divided by four, which means 30. We will have 30 misses till then. 30 page falls. Then what we will what will happen? Then we will try to access. 121 comma zero. 121 comma zero will be a miss, but this this is entirely filled. Here we will have all the pages from P1 to P30. This is entirely filled. Now we will use this LRE page replacement algorithm. So least recently used was P1. So P1 will be replaced, and then another row which is R. What what will they have? It will have 121, 121, 122, 123, 124. See the last one will be twenty seven, one twenty six, one twenty five, and one twenty four. So this will be twenty three, twenty two, twenty one, twenty, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. This will come over here. So we will have another hit miss. Then we will have four hits similarly like this: one twenty one zero, one twenty two zero, one twenty zero, one twenty one zero, one twenty two zero, and one twenty three zero will be a hit and one miss. Then again, there will be a miss, so this will be replaced for the next, which means for every four items, we are replay, we are having one miss. Okay, so how many total items are there? We have 128 cross 128 items, and for each four items, we are having one miss. So what is the total number of miss? You will calculate it to 264, 64, 64, 64 into 64 is 4096. So the answer for this is 4096. Because we are storing in row row major order, but accessing in column major order. First first column, then second column, then third column, then fourth column. So answer is four zero nine six.